Menopause 75, used for the controlled stimulation of ovaries to develop more follicles in women undergoing assisted reproductive methods. Store in a refrigerator between 2 and 8 degrees. Protect from frost. Keep the inner packaging inside the box at all times to protect the preparation from light. Medicines must always be taken as directed by the doctor. Stimulation is performed in the evening. Choose the time yourself. We recommend a time between 6 and 7 p.m. Stimulation must be performed at the same time every day. Start using on the second or third day of the menstrual cycle. Stimulation is performed for a period of 10 to 15 days. Always wash your hands before administering the medicine. You will receive 5 or 10 ampules of solvent and an equal number of ampules of the active ingredient in powder form. Keep in mind that one ampule contains 75 units. In this example, we have two ampules of powder, so we're preparing 150 units. Depending on the stimulation dose, you must mix a certain number of ampules with powder together with one ampule of liquid using a syringe and the large needle. Insert the liquid from the syringe into the first ampule of powder. Always make sure that the powder is completely dissolved. Insert the liquid from the syringe into the second ampule of powder. You will only use one ampule of solvent, the rest are not needed. Repeat the process with the prescribed number of ampules. Move the plunger to expel air from the syringe. Use the smaller needle for the application itself. For the injection, choose an area around the navel in the lower abdomen and change the site of the application every day. Use a disinfectant pad at the chosen area. The drug should be administered subcutaneously. Therefore, the injection should be performed at an angle of 90 degrees while holding the subcutaneous tissue. Insert the whole needle into the subcutaneous tissue and slide the plunger back to check whether you're in a vein. If your syringe becomes stained with blood, withdraw the injection and use a different one. If all is well, push the plunger of the syringe to inject the medicine. Dispose of the used syringe and needle in a container. Side effects are not common with this medicine. You may experience headaches or nausea at the injection site, pain, redness, itching, irritation, swelling, or hematoma.